Hey everybody, I'm going to show you ways to, uh, with some tips and tricks on how to do your very first um, logic implementation. Uh, we just did it together in class and we have like the truth table over there. Hopefully you have that in your notes. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is when you start out with your multi-sim, you want to right click and go down to properties so that you can use this sheet visibility and um, symbol your, um, let's see, you want to make sure that your symbol pins are here and also your package pins are there and go ahead and hit apply and okay. And we want to bring in some power. So the power we want to use is VCC. And of course we need some ground, so we're going to bring in a digital ground. And then we want to bring in some switches. So we want single pull, double throw. Whoops. All groups. Let's try that again. All groups, all families. Single pull, double throw. There we go. So we don't want three of those. So one, two, and three. All right. I'm going to want to rotate those. Um, in my case, I want to rotate them um, counterclockwise. So I'm going to right click on here and then um, go to rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. And then I want to connect this right side to power and the left side of the switch to ground. I'm going to double click on that and make it black. Click OK. And then I'm going to connect those. All right, these black dots or the red dots are the junctions. That's where the wires meet the wires. And then um, I had you guys draw like A, B, and C and go down. So I want to make sure we do a similar situation here. So I'm going to click on the end of the switch one time and then double click it. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. Double click it. Click here, bring it down, double click. Uh, and now I want to bring in some inverter gates. So I'm going to go to the place TTL. And my inverter gates are uh, 74. 74 LS 74 LS um, and uh, 04 and N. There we go. All right. So you can fit one, two, three, four, five, six um, inputs into an inverter gate. So we want to use A for the first one. We want to use still that same chip, so we're going to stay on U1, B for the second, and then C for the third, and then we'll hit cancel and close. And I want to rotate this clockwise. And I want to rotate this right click and then if you saw the shortcut, the shortcut cut is control R. All right, so we can see here, we've got some numbers that are on here. So the small one and the small two tell us uh, what pin numbers those will go in for our chips. So I can click here, I'm gonna click the end and double click it. I'm gonna connect, oops, connect that. Bring it down, connect, double click and bring it down. All right, now I'm going to double click here and just make some labels. So this first switch, I'm going to call this A, I'm going to change my uh, key toggle to um, four, 
I'm gonna double click on this. I'm gonna call this switch B. I'm gonna change this key toggle to the number two. And then I'm gonna double click on this switch. And I'm gonna change this to C. And I'm gonna change the value of the key toggle to one. And if you remember, we have counting in binary is one, two, four, and so on. All right, this setup is what we're pretty much going to use for the rest of the year. All right, we need to bring in, looks like one, two, three, four, and gates. So we're looking for 74 LS um, 08 N. We're going to hit OK, and again, we can use one, two, three, four inputs or, or four different gates for an AND chip. So we're going to bring in A, we're going to bring in B, we're going to bring in C, and we're going to bring in D. Now in this case, I'm using all U2 chips, and then cancel that and close that. And so this first one connects to A and not C. This next one connects to not A. And C. And then this one down here connects to a, not B, because we have not B here. And then these two connect, and then this one connects to C. And then finally, we want to bring in um, an OR gate. So it's 74LS32N. We need, um, how many do we need? We need two of those. So I want to bring in A, and I also want to bring in B. Oops. Close that. And we want to connect those just like we did in our drawings. And then finally, we want to bring in an indicator. So we can bring in a probe. You pick your favorite color. Place it there. Connect it. And you should be able to press play. And you can see it working. All right. Do not forget to save your work in your Google Drive folder as um, 2.1.3 uh, and make sure you show your teacher. Good job.